Hi, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am so honored that your creative studio, see if you can see the name right there, reached out to me and asked me to use their product in creating a journal. Thank you so much. You're letting me use your product to create a journal. So I want to share first what I received what I'll be using to create my journal. I'm not one to make it within a few hours. It takes me days. Right now, my life just seems to be so busy. I was at a craft fair last week, and then I'm going to the balloon festival tomorrow. So I just know I don't have time to make it right now. So I'm gonna share with you first what I'm gonna use for the journal, and then I'm going to complete it by next Friday. So today's Wednesday the 11th, and so next Friday will be October the 20th. So please come back and see the final product, but in the interim, I wanted to share with you this beautiful product that they sent me. So here are some really neat stamps with different flowers. I'm looking forward to using those. Um, here's some cutouts, and those are really cool too. Just different leaves and birds and tropical. This is a tropical theme. I've never made anything um, tropical, so this will be my first time. Here's some smaller little stamps. Those are so cute. And then I actually, I'm sorry, I said stamps, but those are just some cutouts. And then here are the stamps. So I have a couple of birds. So cute they are. Um, and then I have a pineapple and some leaves, so it'll be fun to make that. Here's some more little, um, some cutouts. This one fell out of the bag. Here's some beautiful paper. I just love this. So I'm going to use that. And then here's some more beautiful tags, kind of like a ticket. Um, here's some more stamps, and I think these are rub-off, so I love rub-off, so that'll be fun. Um, here are the envelopes that some of the product came in. And you know me, I'm going to use the envelopes. So these will be used. And here's another one. I think the washi tape came in here. And then look at this beautiful paper. Just love it. So I'm going to have fun making them. And then this is what the pack, this is a packet that this came in. And you know I'm going to use that. I might even use a plastic sleeve for something. And then here is a um, napkin. So I like using napkins as well. Oh, here's one more thing. These are, God, they're just beautiful. So I'm gonna be using a lot of these in the journal as well, so I'm excited to get started. So yesterday I was at um, Joann's and I found these this um, seashell necklace. And I said, great, it's gonna be for my new journal. And then I wanted to share the paper I'm gonna be using. I found this paper at Walmart and it was only $4.97 and you get 30 um, sheets and it's 98 pounds. So this is really good paper to use for a journal. So what I did, was I actually um, tea dyed these. Then I thought, what am I gonna use for the cover? Well, this is part of this pack. So this is the back of it, very strong chipboard. So that's what it's called recycling. That's why you call it a junk journal. So that'll be fun. I'm also gonna use some tags. And then these are really cool. So I ordered some flowers, some dried flowers, and they came in these really nice envelopes. And so I thought, oh, how wonderful. I'm gonna definitely use that in a junk journal. So as you can see, I have lots of really good product to use um, in making this junk journal. I'm going to commit to finishing this journal by next Friday, which is um, October the 20th, 2023. So bear with me. Thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber, please consider being one. And for those of you who are subscribers, thank you so much for your support. And as always, I love any comments. Thank you so much. Fall is in the air, so have a great day. Bye-bye.